Hey traders, TG Watkins here. And let's see, we are basically starting May by the time that you'll see this. I'm recording this Sunday. And uh, so the market's not open, I, the futures are. And uh, what I wanna talk about is that yes, on Friday, the markets really, really, really got pushed down, probably by Amazon. But um, I've seen, I mean, it is, it is complete disaster out there as far as the market goes. And there are a lot of names that are really, really down big. But I think for right, this moment, it seems to me that things are a little overdone to the downside. And uh, just I don't know how much more these names can get pushed down before some sort of bounce. And here I'm going to be showing you guys some internal stuff indicators that I think also help allude to that. Uh, I'm still very, very bearish on this market. But I think that having it fall apart right now, I think we're actually going to be getting a bounce fairly soon. Now, it may not be a very big bounce, but um, you know, I wouldn't be initiating a short going into this week, not yet without some sort of bounce. And so if we look at the uh, this bull bear spread, uh, we can see that it, I mean, we are at some extreme levels. So pretty crazy about that. Uh, so again, I think a lot of traders are on one side and I think they're on the bearer side, which, if you know, uh, that can kind of be a reason for things to turn around or do a short squeeze. Here's the put call ratio. And you can see, again, we are at extremes to the high, high side. So kind of everybody getting loaded up on one direction here. And then even this one is one we were sharing internally, but you can see for the week ending and, uh, you know, super, super bearish. And this is pretty much a one year bearish high ending this week. So massive, massive sentiment on the bearish side. And then we can look at this one. Here's another one that kind of shows you that we are at just massive low levels. I mean, look, look at this. Bottom 0.3% in history in 35 years. I mean, you can see that, you know, 2008. And, uh, here was sometime in 1990. I mean, we're here we are. I mean, it, this is amazing to be seeing what's going on here with uh, how just how bearish everyone is. And that's totally, totally true. And so am I. But that I'm thinking just for this moment, uh, we might be a little bit overdue and overdone on that side. And then we can actually look at these charts. Uh, here's another version of the put call. You can see that just those bars. I mean, we, we haven't seen this. I mean, again, unprecedented. Even on this last big move down that we had, you can see it's like spike, 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 a little spike, spike. Look at this. We have a grouping of put call bars, <laughs> put call ratio bars that are up there. So yeah, pretty darn crazy of what's going on out there. And as I said, we did end right down here on the lows pretty much on Friday, but I'm kind of looking at this as a double bottom. You know, if I can draw that a little bit better, that's basically what I'm looking here. And uh, if we do open up the ES futures, they at least haven't continued their plunge yet. Now, of course, we're going to have to see what happens by the time the market opens. Um, we'll have to see if my foot is in my mouth at that point, but you can see we're actually up a little bit considering we've gone down so far. And if we look at this on the daily chart, you can see uh, not only are we at the lower extremes, we are pretty much at a double bottom. And so I'm wondering if that's going to give us some temporary support. I wouldn't expect anything huge, but it will be no shortage of interesting things coming this week. And the FOMC, the Fed meeting is Wednesday, and they should be raising a 50 basis points at that time. All right, everyone, you guys take care and we'll see you at the next one.